seven boy. Mm -mm -mm. You did all this motherfucker talking, and you look like some shit. I swear to God, that was the boringest motherfucker fight ever. I don't know why people paid their money to see that shit. You did all this motherfucker rapping. Your father ain't know what the fuck to really tell you in the corner. You know what I'm saying? Like, get the fuck out of here, shorty. Y'all knew what y'all was doing by sending that bullshit-ass term sheet over. Because if you would have sent some correct shit, I would have I put you over my knee, shorty, and then spank that ass. <laughs> Those are the words of Gary Russell Jr. Listen, after a performance that hasn't... Uh, that didn't live up to the hype that didn't live up to your expectations. You expect this kind of talk from everybody, from tank, from Garcia, from Teal Fimo, from Gary Russell. And this is another example of such. He said the fight was shit. He said the fight was boring. And this is my counterpunch on this. I'm not going to kick a man when he's down, but he's not down. Devin Haney's not down. I think the problem with this fight was he was dealing with an experienced veteran that he didn't, he wasn't really experienced enough to uh, respond. And he didn't know what to really do to execute certain things in that ring. And dealing with someone that wasn't injured like he was with Tank Davis, he was injured in the tank. It was no doubt about it. Yoriokis Gamboa, he was injured in that fight. So, you know, it, it's smoke and mirrors. A lot of people think, well, he made it look a certain way. Well, they both went into the 12th round. What looks better, a guy that's fully functional that you fight through the 12th or a guy that was damaged from the second round and you fight up to the 12th? You know what I'm saying? So you look at it like that in terms of that it's not that bad. You know, and like I told friends, like, don't be surprised if this doesn't go to distance because Yoriokas Gamboa he didn't get injured within the fight or whatever. OK, that was one of the things that he was fortunate not to do in that fight. And Devin Haney being Devin Haney, is he a big puncher? No, no, he's not a big puncher, but he rapped, he rocked Yoriokas Gamboa a few times. But see, that's not the thing. The cortex of the fight is not what we're talking about. What we're talking about was exactly what Gary Russell Jr. was mentioning. He was mentioning all the shit that Devin Haney was doing the that led to the expectations that built this fight up to be, okay, this guy is a gatekeeper. This guy is 38, damn near 39 years of old. He's like, he's in my age bracket, mind you. And you can't get this fucking guy out of there like you said you could. That's the problem. Okay, that there alone. You know, moving forward, I think Devin Haney should, you know, just hey, put his head down and say, hey, may the best man win. Not expect a multiple knockdowns because you didn't get a single one. And when you don't deliver, this is what you're going to get delivered to you. Criticism. Counterpunch. OK, so Gary Russell Jr., you know, had every right to talk shit. However, however. Gary Russell should have been that guy that night. Real talk. He should have been in there with him. I don't know, you know, the term sheet, this, that, and the other. But look, at the end of the day, I wanted to see Gary Russell Jr. fight Devin Haney. That would have be a that would have been a fight that you would want to see. Not a Yoda Yorkis Gamboa. And then really what it is, Devin Haney, understand this. He's the weaker of the link of everyone. Teofimo Lopez, well, not everyone, because think of Leo Santa Cruz. Uh, and Tank Davis. Leo Santa Cruz was a guy that moved up from another. He was a smaller guy, being the taller guy, but still a smaller guy. You know, uh, Teofimo Lopez and Lomachenko was the best fight possible. The Ryan Garcia versus Luke Campbell comes in second, which has been postponed. And it's a, maybe a damn tie between Leo Santa Cruz or Yoriokas Gamboa. Do you fight a better, or should I say a bigger Gamboa that's older, or would you want to fight a smaller Santa Cruz which is younger and fresher. That's the question you ask yourself. So pick your poison, you know, but then doing, but look at Tank Davis. He got his fighter out of there despite the advantages that he had. He had advantages of power. Okay. Devin Haney should have done the same thing. So by default, because of that reason, that's why he's the weakest link. 
You see what I'm saying? So he looks like he's a number four when it comes to his opponent in performance based on the shit that he's talked to build up the fight. Okay. But it was amusing to hear uh, Gary Russell talk shit because he's such a brash fellow. You know what I mean? He He's a very serious dude. Gary Russell is one of those guys, you know, he's talked shit at everybody. He's a, He's mean. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it was a it, it was um it was very entertaining to hear him say, you know, his counterpunch on it. You guys tell me what you think of Gary Russell's junior uh statement towards Devin Haney. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunched. Peace.